What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claire Roos. And this is the first trailer for the movie that didn't get uh, kicked to the curb, Blue Beetle. <laughs> the one that got left behind. Uh, well, Thank God. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know you've been really excited about this. I am. I like Jaime Reyes a lot. Um, I think Jaime Reyes... Look, there are two Blue Beetles. Mm -hmm. There's Ted Cord, who is very interesting when he's paired with... Um, Oh my god, how am I blanking on his name? It's not Flash Gordon. God damn it. Booster Gold. Uh, he's very interesting when he's with Booster Gold. Okay. Not a great character on his own. Okay. Sorry. Blue Beetle and Booster Gold, Ted Core, that's great. The only time Blue Beetle works on his own is Jaime Reyes. And I'm so excited for this movie. Uh, I wanted to be excited for this movie and Batgirl, but they canceled Batgirl, but I'm happy we're at least getting this. Yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about Blue Beetle? Not a thing. Cool. Absolutely. I'm excited not. then, because this yeah. is like... This is a, like a real superhero you know nothing about. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You need to watch Young Justice. He's a good show. Uh, let's get into this. Um, yeah. I was about to... I don't know. Isn't Young Justice the animated one? Yes. Is he not in season one? No. Okay. So it's like, I think... I know I've seen part of that show. Oh, you have? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Let's watch... We'll talk about that later. I was just a really long green screen. I was like, <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. What? He finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh, I was like, they made Jaime rich? That's weird. Everything right now feels so out of reach. You always land on your feet, bro. You're Jaime. They don't get out much. <laughs> I just want to rap. Jenny? I just want to rap. Guard the hybrid in your life. But do not open it. You went in to get a shops, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Nice. Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? Blue Beetle with a side of fries. I to do that. I think he likes me. Oh. Hey, man. Oh, wow. What the? Host acquired. Who said that? It's okay, it's good. Very go. cool. Oh, my God. That was a great mix of comedy and body horror. Yeah. <gasps> the suit looks great. Free entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no. <laughs> this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. <laughs> I just want to rock. This looks really good. Yeah, it does. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. This ain't what you want. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. Good <laughs> <laughs> thing there were enough seats for everyone. The Scarab oh. chose you, but it belongs to me. The low you feel for your family makes you weak. I just wanna rock. Let's go, Jaime! <laughs> I just sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's go. Oh! Is this Monster Hunter? <laughs> Nice choice. Oh, I love it. That was very Final Fantasy. Whoa. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to rock. <laughs> wow. That was really fun. I am so impressed. Yeah, I'm I'm glad they didn't scrap that. There's there's yeah. shit in there. There's a lot of good shit in there. Holy crap. It looks really good. Yeah, I, I I think that there's um there's a cartooniness to the CGI mm -hmm. that really works for the 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 kind of comedy they're playing. Like I, I don't think it is the most hyper realistic CGI I've ever seen. Yeah. But I think that what they've done really well is blend the the tone of the comedy with the visual look of this world. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I think that even his like um there's sort of a like fuzziness to the his visor look. Oh, yeah. And I, I kind of dug that. I feel like it, it gives it a visual distinction from 
the like MCU visors, which are very clean, and you know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. there's kind of a look that the MCU's gone down with all of that inside of helmet look. For sure. And I, I feel like they've done something different here, mm-hmm. and it is, yeah, it really works. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I love like the the. It's a very, um, it's a very focused color palette. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's fun. I like when movies make choices. You know, when yeah. they, they, they they go for a vibe, you know, they, they go for a feeling, they go for a color palette, they go for, like, they just go for it. And it kind of seems like this movie is like, yeah, we know what we are, and we're just, we're just going to make that happen. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I felt about uh, Dungeons & Dragons, which came out over the weekend. Yes. Um, that we saw a couple weeks ago. But, so uh, good. But the, the, the films that really are like, this is what we are, and we lean hard into it, that works for me more than trying to take something like Blue Beetle, which is inherently silly, right? Like, there's an inherent silliness to, it's an alien scarab that fuses to your body and wants to destroy Earth, but the human that it fuses to doesn't want to destroy Earth, right? Yeah. Like, there, there's, like, a tension there that is that, that, that has a comedy to it, mm-hmm. right? In, in the Greek sense, like, the, uh, um, a tragic comedy that I think that they're playing with with a tone here that just, like, just surprised the shit out of me. I yeah. didn't think I was going to like the Blue Beetle trailer as much as I did. No, me neither. I, I you know, I thought it'd just kind of be another, like, superhero thing. I was like, all right, but... I appreciate them leaning into his family, too. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I feel like there's a lot there. Um, That's when these things work the best for me. Uh, like, we talked about it, especially with, like, Miss Marvel and Shang-Chi and, like, those kind of things. Like, leaning into the, the family aspect. Or at um, least, the, the not necessarily, like, always the the blood family, but, like, found family can work there too like totally. leaning into who the relationship yeah who is yeah. this character in relationship with and like there's no villain in this trailer the, the obviously the corporation is probably a part of it but there there's not even really a character there it I really mean, that is one just woman is like that's mine so she's probably not good but yeah sure but like that that's that is all secondary to how does his family feel about him becoming a superhero right and i think that yeah. that that is a part of the movie that is fascinating to me and i'm excited to watch those characters um go through this Transition. I I think that looked awesome. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I loved it. Well done. I'm so glad the suit works. Yeah, glad they didn't scrap it. And I think that's always kind of been what doesn't work about Ted Cord without Booster Gold for me mm-hmm. is that the most interesting relationship, at least in the at least in the Blue Beetle stuff that I've read, yeah. is his relationship with Booster Gold. Yeah. And when he's on his own, I don't find that he has really great tethers mm-hmm. in his life that mm-hmm. I find interesting. Whereas Jaime Reyes. I, uh, whether it's with Young Justice or, or with his family, they've always grounded that character so well in the people around him. Mm-hmm. And I'm so happy that this movie is tapping into that element of the character and why this character, I think, works and means so much to so many people. Yeah. Even totally. though he's a much more niche comic book character, right? Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. I can tell why they didn't scrap it. It looks it looks awesome. Yeah, that was really fun. I think how the third act plays into its villain will be the like make or break of like whether or not this movie works as a whole, right? I think they've got yeah. a... But I think the trailer does a good job hinting at a really solid first two acts. Yep, 100%. Um, I'm, and I'm excited now. Yeah, we'll definitely be seeing that in theaters, which is awesome. Yay. And um, I, yeah, I'm so excited for, do you know how to pronounce his name? X-O-L-O. Is it YOLO? Uh, it better not be YOLO. Really soon everybody's going to know his name and that's really cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that's kind of the, sorry, this is going long, but I, that's one of the fun things about the the age of diverse media we're in yeah. is that there are people who, by not Hollywoodificationing their names, yeah, because that was a thing for a long time. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people who aren't white who change their names to very um, white American sounding names to work in Hollywood. Yeah. And that trend is going away and people are bringing their family names into their work. Yeah, not even just Hollywood, in theater too. Yeah, but the, in doing so, the the people like us who like uh, don't know how to pronounce that are, are forced very to learn white. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but, but even like if you're from a different culture, like mm. there, there's something about the modern era of Hollywood where we are proliferating understanding of each other's cultures in a new way by not forcing people into the kind of cookie cutter positions we were in the past. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's something that I love yeah. and I'm not the most knowledgeable on and I'm, I'm not the like most progressive person in all of that. My, my language knowledges are English and French, which are very white languages and a little bit of Klingon, which whatever. Um, but uh, the, you know, the, there's just, I, I'm excited for him to become this household name and for, 
you know, people to have their eyes open to something new. A hundred percent. I think that like uh, the, the more diverse things are, the more interesting. Like I, yeah. I think that that's just a part of being human. I'm so excited for this. Me Let's too. go. Me. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't hit the dislike button, leave mean comments down below because the algorithm God is hungry and we must feed her. As always, uh, there's an algorithm goddess on the episode. Who's it going to be today? The beetle. The it beetle. Has, like a feminine voice. It does. Yeah. Okay. It's so, the scarab. The scarab. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clars Polaris. As always, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye. Thank you.